going to switch automatically and quickly to Woody's World, and I'm going to do it today. Head down to Wow Furniture. Wow Furniture is a sponsor of Woody's World. Check out Denver's finest selection of furniture, <coughs> mattresses, and Colorado's largest rug gallery. This week, take up the take up to five hundred dollars off select mattress sets and 20% off accessories and artwork. I love that. Store-wide. Yeah, store-wide. <laughs> right off I-25 at County Line Road. Pay no attention to other auto, uh, other furniture stores. You can go right past Goffsmith to wow furniture and you'll be so pleased you'll be wowed. I would like to uh, talk today about the Denver Broncos and what's going on. Uh, in, in talking uh, with uh, a number of people in Denver, based on poll results I've seen, more than 86% of the people approve of this. You can't get 86% of the people to approve of anything in life. You know, it's sort of like, do you like Girl Scout cookies? 70% of the people would go, yeah. And the other 30% went, no, nah, I don't like that peanut butter thing. I prefer like Oreos. That. So I think this is, the point I'm making is, this was not a monumental hire in terms of, oh, you didn't get uh, uh, Bob Stoops. And you go, Bob Stoops? Years ago, that's who Pat Bolin wanted to hire was Bob Stoops as a head coach here. Was it a monumental hire like John Elway coming back? Maybe not. Was it a monumental hire like Peyton Manning coming to Denver? Maybe not. Was it a monumental move rivaling John Elway being traded here? Maybe not. But the people of Denver, I think, are willing to give Kerry, Gary Kubiak the time and the patience more than they would a John Fox or Bob Stoops or uh, Dan Quinn or who Adam Gaze even, even because he is, quote, one of us. He is one of our own. That he is, as we've said all week, he's spent 20, this will be his 21st year, is a player, an assistant coach, or now the head coach in Denver. So I think that it's important to realize that that uh, Gary Kubiak is doing, is the kind of person that people want as the coach here. They do think he can take them to the next level. So I, I think that as we look back on this week, I believe they will win another Super Bowl. Will it be next year? I'm not certain about that. Will it be five years from here? I don't know. But I remember saying after the Broncos won two Super Bowls and someone came up to me the next year and go, oh, I wanted them to win three, and they finished six and ten that year. And I go, you know, it's somebody else's turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? It's the Broncos' turn again. It's turn and time to win a Super Bowl. And Gary Kubiak, we know, is going to work hard. And the people of the community have accepted him in. And I think now it's important to get a defense coordinator in place to finish out the coaching staff to then get on to the free agents. I want them to sign some Baltimore Ravens and some Houston Texans that would fill in some holes there. How about one and, Detroit Lion? Huh? huh? We'll have to talk about that. A boy named Sue? Yep. So mm -hmm. uh, we wish Gary Kubiak well. <clears throat> we hope it goes great for the Broncos. We remain objective, but I think the people in Denver, as I said, A, deserve to go back to a Super Bowl. Another bad taste in their mouth, as I wrote. This one's for the John. It wasn't for John. Good luck, Gary Kubiak. I, I, I